Hey guys, today I've got a built by Whirlpool Amana washer and uh, electric dryer matching set. And I've got it set up right now. It is a pretty good sized load. It's kind of spinning, adding water and sensing the size of this load. We got it on the deep water option, uh, heavy on the soil level. So it's gonna use the most amount of water here. Then we've got uh, wash temperature. You have tons of different options here. Extra rinse, I just set that to no this round. So what it's gonna do as it senses this, it's going to kind of try out the agitation and see where it's at water wise. Then it'll stop add some more water until it deems that it's got enough water in there now typically you wouldn't be able to lift this up but i've got a little lid locking mechanism i put there so that we can lift this up and i can show you what's going on like i said if i didn't say it uh, kind of as if you were standing here yourself checking it out that's how i like to shop when i buy my items i like to know everything works so that's how i like to sell my items and so that is the purpose of this video now once it moves on actually into the wash cycle you can see that it's agitating but i'll come back show you the agitation with the full water uh, that it drains the water out as it moves into the rinse cycle and then we've got a nice fast smooth final spin cycle and then we'll be done and i'll move these clothes over to the dryer and show you that the dryer is working perfectly so we'll let this thing go ahead and finish filling up and uh, move on from there Okay, we switched over to the wash cycle and it stopped a couple more times to add water, just about full submersion on those clothes there. So it's gonna go through and agitate. And for a little while too, since I put it on heavy, this also designates the length of time it agitates and then it has a short pulsing and uh, long agitation. So it's gonna go through all three of those. So we'll allow it to do its thing and then we'll come back as it drains the water for the rinse cycle. We are moving out of the wash cycle into the rinse cycle. It's draining the water out. Running on the drain there nice and fast. So from here, it's gonna fill back up, rinse with the clean water, drain out, and then we'll be on to the final spin. It's kind of getting started there for the rinse cycle. We are getting started now with the first final spin cycle. Now it'll do this three times or gets up to, it has a two medium speeds and then a top speed. And it, the, kind of the reason the speed increases is because the uh, more and more water gets extracted out of the clothes. It doesn't necessarily ramp up and speed up too terribly much, but the lighter the clothes get, the faster it does end up spinning. But as you can see here, that's getting started even. That's a pretty fast spin. It's getting the water extracted. It's got the drain kicked on. You can see, nice smooth operation. Sounds great. So it'll go through this cycle two more times, and then I will be able to take those clothes and move them over to the dryer. All right, now we have those clothes pulled out. That's good to go. Now we come over here to the dryer. Plugged in, the light's working. Everything there is loaded up. Go ahead and hit this on time dry, high heat, high heat. And we'll turn the signal on. As you can see in here, sounds great. Nice smooth operation. Now I'm gonna give this about five minutes to heat up. Then I'm gonna show you with my surface temperature gun that it is in fact heating like it's supposed to, that it's getting nice and hot. All right, so we've got our surface temperature gun here, right in between those two red dots. It's gonna take a surface temperature measurement. So it's about 86 degrees on the top of the dryer. If I shine it on the floor, you can see it drops down. It's about 60 degrees on the concrete there. So open it up. Shoot it right inside the heating element tube. So there's plenty of heat coming out of that tube. Now that in turn is gonna heat the inside of your dryer up anywhere from about 95 to 195 degrees. That just depends on what you have the heat setting at, which I've got this one cranking. So let's see, we'll just hit go, let that finish up. But there you have it. Now you know both of these are working perfectly. We'll go ahead and get them listed up for sale. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. And I do appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Thanks, you guys have a great day.